Hi brothers and sisters, this is Chris here. Um, we have made kits for you, uh, water filtration kits, and I'm going to show you how to use them. Each kit contains instructions, water, bottle of sand, two bottles of activated carbon, a couple plastic spoons, and some cheesecloth, and an empty mason bottle. And here is what you do. First of all, you drink the, bottle, the bottled water. Hand it around, survival situation, use it. Then you take this knife and you cut off the bottom like I have mine. This is Derek's kit. Um, Derek, you get the, the last of everything, so we ran out of uh, containers. We'll try to find you one. Now how you open this knife is you hit this, this button right here with your index finger and it opens like that. And to close it, there's a little piece of metal that, that locks it into place and you push that and then you're able to close it. So, so use th this knife will be in your uh, water kit and could be useful for obviously lots more than that in uh, preparedness or a survival situation. So now that we have our, our bottle, I've already cut a piece off of Derek's cloth and you could stuff it up from the bottom but I'm just going to stuff it in here. I'm gonna use the spoon to kind of push it down. So this is the first layer. In a survival situation, you would, um, you could use some gauze, you could use part of a shirt, you could use um, a napkin, you could use whatever you have. So, but we've got cheesecloth especially for this. Then you open up the activated carbon, and we have enough to make lots of kits. So help out your neighborhood, and you just spoon or pour activated carbon into here. You want a thick layer of it because this is what does most of the actual cleansing. And in a survival situation, you could build a fire and make your own charcoal by taking the coals and crushing them up. And that would do it. Um, then the next layer is, I'm going to lean that there. Okay. Next layer will be sand. And again, if you don't have this kit and you're just in a survival situation, then you can just use the sandiest dirt you can find or some gravel. It's just kind of a big filter on top of the activated carbon to strain out the, the grass and the, the dirt and the big stuff. And the activated carbon is uh, what activated means, it just means that it has been heated, um, especially so that it has extra surface area. Like one teaspoon of, of this charcoal stuff has the surface area of a tennis court. It's amazing. So I'm going to put this layer of sand on. I probably should have poured it. On top, if I had some gravel, I could put that on, but that's not necessary. Now you do have to leave room at the top. In the picture that's on the second page of your instructions, it, it does not show any room left at the top for water, and you will need that, because the water does not drain fast, as you will see. Now, this fits perfectly in here. No, so, I'm, not, I'm not seeing the picture. It says low battery, uh, etc. So what I but I don't see, you're all fuzzy behind it, so maybe you're still good. I don't I think know. think so. Just okay. hit. But I can't see you. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Let me come glance at it. So now it looks like you just have to hit close. Okay, we'll see if that uh, picked up all of that or not. Okay. And I can edit that out. So now you can either punch holes in there if you have a hammer or nail, and that would be an additional filter, just that end cap. Or I'm just going to take mine off and, and lay it here. And then this is water from... Grandpa's pond, and some from downstairs, uh, where he has some plants and stuff. And you can see it's it's pretty, it's pretty yucky. It's got little floaties all in it, and matter, and it's kind of yellowish. And I'm gonna pour this into the top. And then you have to wait because it takes a while. It takes a few hours. So, and um, I'll try to find something to lean that against just to make sure it should be pretty stable. But. Um, so find a tree or something like that to lean against. And the last stage is, if 
you are able to build a fire or a microwave and uh, microwave it for a few minutes or uh, boil it for a few minutes just, just to make sure um, to kill anything that might be remaining. I'll try to add on a video at the end after a few hours of what it looks like. So, okay, go ahead and push.